Welcome to Haskell at Work, previously known as Coda, a screencast focused on practical Haskell programming. You are watching the third part of Domain Modeling with Haskell. So far, we have built a basic domain model for the project management system. We have used Traversable to calculate a project structure of reports for individual projects. And we have used Foldable to collapse those reports into a single report. We have a new customer requirement, but first I want to correct a mistake in our existing code. To keep the video simple, I used a double data type, a floating point type, for money. That is most likely not something you want to do in a real system for financial values, and we should not do it here either. We are going to use the decimal package, but you might also consider the fixed or rational types which are in base. Let's begin by adding the decimal package as a dependency. In the project module, we import the decimal type from data decimal and use it instead of double. And we reload the REPL as we have a new dependency. In the database module, which is a faked implementation generating random budgets and transactions, we now need to generate random decimals. Decimal doesn't have an instance of random, so we will generate random double values and convert them. Precision is not important here. We need the real frac to decimal conversion function from data.decimal. Before it gets too messy, we will create a random money generating function called random money. Given a range, it generates a random double and converts that into a money with precision 2. We rewrite get budget and get transactions to use random money. The pretty report function needs some changes. Instead of using printf's floating point formatting, we will use decimal's show instance and the round2 function, which we need to import. Let's write a new function, pretty money, from money to string. It rounds the decimal to a precision of two decimal numbers and adds a plus sign in front if the number is positive. The decimal show instance already adds a minus sign if negative. We can change all unmoney to pretty money and change the printf format string to use strings. Okay, we now have decimals. Let's continue with the customer requirements. Our hypothetical customer wants reporting at a project group level as well. We extend the project data type with yet another type argument and a polymorphic field for project groups to store the new information. The field G will be the slot for project group level reports in our resulting data structure. It could hold any data, so if we wanted project groups to have IDs, this would be a place to put them. We use the type variable g when constructing the recursive project type. We will use the writer t monad transformer to collect child project reports as we recurse through the project data structure. The monad writer type class is a multi-param type class and thus we need to enable flexible contexts. Lift io will be needed to lift an io action into a writer t action. And we need some functions related to writer t. We will not need the accumulate project report function anymore, as calculate project reports will return reports on all levels. 
Calculate Project Reports will accept a project tree with any group value G and return an IO action of a project tree with reports for group projects and individual projects. In this version of Calculate Project Reports, we will do recursion explicitly. Even if we would reach for something like bifunctors or bitraversables, we could not collect child reports in a traversal while retaining the project tree structure. Again, traversable only transforms individual elements and foldable collapses the structure. Instead, we will define calc, a function that recurses through the project tree structure using the rider t monad transformer combined with IO. The Haskell wiki describes the rider monad's computation type as computations which produce a stream of data in addition to the computed values and says it's useful for logging or computations that produce output on the side. In our case, the output produced on the side is a report and the computed value is a project. We will start at the top project level, so we need that argument. The result of run writer t is a tuple of the return value of the computation and the written report. As we have already included the relevant reports in our return value, the project data structure, that is, we extract only the first element of the tuple. Given a single project, we will calculate a report, just as before. But in addition to including it in the resulting project value, we will also tell it. This is an operation of the writer monad. Given a project group, we will calculate report decorated projects by mapping calc over all subprojects. Also, we use listen to extract the combined report of all those subprojects. With the rider monad, the type of value you tell must have a monoid instance. All told values are appended, starting with the empty element, and thus we get a single report back. At the project group level, we don't have to tell any report, as the individual projects under it have already done so, and as those reports accumulate in the writer monad. We will not need the qualified import of text anymore. The asktree function will now need yet another function as an argument. It will be used to print the group values. Like with pretty value, we need to pass it along when recursing. Again, the pretty project helper needs the same arguments. In our test data, we don't have any group values. We don't have any interesting information to put there at the moment, so we will use unit values. We can now calculate a project tree with reports on all levels. And print it using pretty report for both groups and individual projects. Very nice reporting indeed. And we're done. We have extended our project management system to handle reporting at all project levels using explicit recursion and the rider T monad transformer to accumulate reports along the way. In the next part, the last one of this series, we will accomplish the same goal in a much more generic way using the fixed plate package. <laughs>